Hello everyone, in this video we will be discussing about the current affairs for February 27 and February 28. Before proceeding, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe so that you can get updates like this. Let's move on. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has inaugurated the permanent campus of National Institute of Science, Education and Research in Jatani near Bhumneshwar. So you have to remember the name of the institute that is N-I-S-E-R National Institute of Science, Education and Research and the place that is Jatani. This place is a place near Bhumneshwar. Bhumneshwar is the capital city of Odisha. You have to remember all these things. Next. The Parliamentary Standing Committee on Science and Technology, Environment and Forests was headed by Sri Ashwini Kumar. So you have to remember this. The Committee on Science and Technology, Environment and Forest and it was headed by Ashwini Kumar. Next. Heavy Water Board, you have to remember Heavy Water Board, it is a constituent of Department of Atomic Energy. It is a constituent of Department of DAE, Heavy Water Board. Okay, It has signed an agreement with MS Clear Synth. So you have to remember the name of the company, MS Clear Synth and Heavy Water Bro Board, it is a uh, constituent of Department of DAE. On Mumbai 23rd, date is not that important, for sale of 20 tons of heavy water in a year. That is, there is an agreement between the DAE and MS Clear Synth for the sale of 20 tons of heavy water in a year. Next, 7 days cultural event. What is the name of the cultural event? That is Rashtriya Sanskriti Mohatsav. And this cultural event had taken place under the Ek Bharat Shreshth Bharat Matrix. So you have to remember two things. It is a seven day event. The name of the event is Rashtriya Sanskriti Mahotsav. And it is under Ek Bharat Shreshth Bharat Matrix. And it is taking place, it is begun on, it is begun in Madhya Pradesh on 24th Feb. So you have to remember the place that is from Madhya Pradesh and name. Sahitya Sanskriti Mahotsav, Ek Bharat Shreshth Bharat. And the states which are paired with Madhya Pradesh are two states that is Nagaland and Manipur. And this, this cultural event it was organized by Union Ministry of Culture. You have to remember this also. Next, Indo-German that is India and Germany. India and Germany has signed a memorandum of understanding and for what? It is for the implementation agreement in sustainable urban development and smart cities in India. So you have to remember that India and Germany has signed an agreement for urban development and smart cities in India. Okay, what is the objective? The objective is basic urban services and housing in selected cities and smart cities in India. It, they would be providing it. Next, Indian Railways. So there are two things. One is Indian Railways in collaboration with General Electric. So you have to remember Indian Railways and GE and it is a public sector. Uh, Indian Railways is, is under public sector and it is a private sector. So it is uh, due to the result of public private partnership in, uh, in cent initiative okay so indian railways with general electric under public private partnership initiative has inducted two digitally enabled locomotives it is the first digitally enabled locomotive in uh, indian railway and they have been given two digitally enabled locomotives and it is based on state of art insulated G igbt that is gate bipolar transistor technology so you have to remember the name of the technology that is igbt and name of two uh, companies one is the public sector that is indian railways another is private sector that is general electronics and for what for uh, two digitally enable locomotives next rbi on 24th february launched the ombudsman scheme and this scheme was launched for nbfc that is non banking financial companies in accordance with the announcement made in the monetary policy statement on 7th feb and what does this ombudsman do it waits for the readdressal of complaint against the non banking financial uh, institutions which are registered under rbi under the section 45 ia for of the rbi act 1934 so it is the ombudsman scheme for nbfcs next 
Indian Armed Forces on 24th Feb 2018 successfully test fired nuclear capable surface to surface ballistic missile and the name of the missile is Dhanush okay from naval warship position in bay of bengal so you have to remember the place that indian armed force at from bay of bengal they have test fired dhanush and dhanush is a surface to surface ballistic missile next uh, our prime minister narendra modi mr narendra modi he launched amma two wheeler scheme in chennai okay on 25th feb 2018 it is the birth anniversary of the late chief minister of tamil nadu that is j jayalalitha on a uh, eve of the birthday anniversary uh, amma two wheeler scheme has been launched and this scheme was aa dmk government scheme for providing 50% subsidy to working women to buy a two wheeler that is uh, a working woman would be given 50% subsidy if they want to buy a two wheeler under this scheme next first regional center for agriculture of north east region that is it is for the north east region ner it is the first regional center of agriculture set up on would uh, is it was inaugurated on 7th march and it is with the collaboration of israel in mizoram so you have to remember the first center of agriculture in mizoram in collaboration with israel okay next norway bagged the highest number of medals that is 39 medals in the winter olympics germany bagged 31 medals and canada finished th finished third by having 29 medals this is the medal count for winter olympics you have to remember this next prime minister narendra modi flagged off run for new india marathon it is a marathon which was inaugurated by our prime minister narendra modi in surat okay and the main objective of the marathon is uh, creating awareness upon social causes and call upon all to resolve to build a new india and it was organized by surat nagrik samiti so you have to remember the name of the marathon that is run for new india and the place that is surat and it was inaugurated by our prime minister narendra modi next bollywood's legendary and veteran actress shri devi she passed away on 25th feb 2018 at the age of 54 in dubai shri devi has passed away on uh, 25th feb at the age of 54 in dubai you have to remember this next uh, prime minister narendra modi on 24th feb 2018 launched development projects development projects worth rupees 1000 crore at deben and diu okay and he inaugurated air services uh, connecting the union territory that is connecting daman and diu and other parts of gujarat daman and diu is uh, is a union territory and it has been declared as a open de facto free union territory so he also congratulated the uh, union territory for that and he also inaugurated air services air services connecting the union territory and other parts of gujarat next Aruna Buddha Reddy became the first Indian gymnast it is the first time in Indian gymnast uh, gymnastics that a woman has won a medal in gymnastic world cup okay so Aruna Buddha Reddy became the first Indian gymnast to win a individual medal at the gymnastic world cup and it is held in Melbourne Australia by securing a bronze in the women's uh, category so she has secured a uh, bronze in the women's category in the world gymnastic world cup world cup of gymnastics which was held in Australia Melbourne next RBI has directed banks to link the SWIFT. Now, what is the SWIFT? S W I F T. SWIFT is Society for World Interbank Financial Telecommunication System. It is system platform. It is SWIFT, and uh, RBI has directed. the banks to link swift with core banking system that is cbs so we would be linking swift with cbf so you have to remember the full form of swift it is very important and cbs is core banking system of, of all banks and the last day to link is 30th april 2018 for all bank now what is why is swift used it is used for cross bar, uh, monitoring cross border financial transactions it is uh, this is what swift is used for you have to remember the full form of swift you can note it down it is very important 
next and the last one kuwa by a hundred and old year or year old brand ambassador of swat bharat abhiyan she is a woman and she is 106 years old and she was the oldest brand ambassador of swat bharat abhiyan and she is from chatisgarh and she died okay uh, this was all about the current affairs of february this is the last video for the current affairs uh, for the month of february you can go through all the previous videos uh, if you haven't uh, please subscribe uh, if you haven't subscribed yet thank you